Hello and welcome to this library setup tutorial. To create or manipulate your own library, we use the functions setup library, edit library and browse library. In the first part of the video, we deal with how to create your own library. In the second part, with how to edit your library later. Start the creation with clicking on setup library. In the opened window, you must enter your library name, your library path, we recommend here to maintain with the standard path, a short description of the library you want to create, and you can enter a copyright note. Proceed with the next button. You have now two possibilities. You can manually enter the spectral range and resolution of your library or select a master spectrum. Opust will automatically obtain the required information out of the master spectrum. To restrict the parameters is for example useful if your optical component limits the spectral range. Afterwards, click Next. Now you define the information mask, so the additional information your library will contain. You have multiple options again. You can manually add info items in the table. Just click at a cell and enter the wanted information. Pay attention that your first four entries must be compound name, molecular formula, molecular weight, and CAS registry number. If you want to undo your last change, press Ctrl Z. If you want to change the whole table, you can use the clear all button at the right to clear the table. If you want to reset all your changes, press undo changes. If you want to delete only a few, just select the number at the left and press delete. If you want to save your information mask as a preset for later, store it via Save As. If you want to open an existing preset, you can do so via the Browse button at the bottom. The path of the pre-installed mask are the install path of your latest Opus version and then either in the folder Methods or in the folder Data Library. Equal which way you choose to edit the info items, pay attention what your first four entries must be. After you change the information mask, press Next. In this step, you add your entries for your library. If you selected your spectral ranges with a master spectrum, this is already shown on the table. Otherwise, it's empty. Click at Add Entries, select your spectra you want to add to your library and press Open. You can delete an important spectra by selecting the corresponding number with a left click and press Delete. All information you ask for in the information mask that is previously attached to your spectra in the info box will be automatically written in the table. You can edit them if you want. All missing information can be added manual. If the cell for the compound name is empty when you press finish, you will get an error warning and the whole spectrum will be ignored for your library. If your spectra contain a structure block, it will be marked in the structure row. To connect a structure to a spectrum, you need the Opus structure add-on. At least press finish. The library is now created. Via the browse library function and the change library button at the bottom, you can search your libraries. Open your created library. You see now all entries you added with the information you entered, the spectrum and if attached the structure. You can close the library via exit. If you want to edit the library, for example to expand it or to remove an entry, open the Edit Library function. 
Load the library you want to edit. You can change the description, the copyright note, the information mask and the entries. Don't forget to store your library afterwards. For additional information, look in the user manual of the Opus Search software package. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.